Hey guys, this is Ricardo Gardner from blogtechtips.com. Today with another fix for you. Now, today's fix is the a fix for the widescreen issue and I'm actually going to show you how to fix a tablet that's having the widescreen issue. Now, I'll be using this tablet over here to happen. It can happen in any Android tablet where you power on the device and then you come to a widescreen. Nothing else will come on screen even if you restart the tablet. The first thing you want to do is flip the tablet over. Now what you want to do, as I said, it can be any brand. It's using this Nexus for demonstration purposes. Now you're going to open the tablet. For most tablets to open them, you'll need a forceps or a prime tool, as I like to call them. Right? It's something like this or this one. And what you want to do is to actually get it into the grooves of the tablet. Now, in this case, you want to fix it into the grooves and you want to run this along here until the seams open right i have actually pre-opened this one i'm just demonstrating and once you get it into the seams and the seams open i want you to separate or force or gently open the device now once you go inside you should see something similar to this that you're seeing right here now you might see some tape covering the sensitive parts of the device now the first thing i want you to do is as soon as it's open you're gonna locate the battery and you can always find it's flattening over here and i want you to lift off the tape and you're gonna find the contact point for the you can look over here the contact point for the um the battery right and you can use other tool like this one that i have here and i just want you to carefully disconnect the key sorry disconnect the battery from the motherboard now don't force it or anything just carefully find a way in there and use this tool and just carefully disconnect it now if you look over here you'll notice that it will slide right out it will also slide back in when you're finished so once you have disconnected and this is for safety purposes so that there's no power flowing to the device right next you're gonna display or look for the LCD display it's usually in the same area and it runs to the LCD now depending on it it might be a flip up mechanism that's actually holding it usually it's on either side and usually it, all you have to do is flip it up in my case it flips up some cases you have to push it out just to loosen it now these contact contacts are basically connects the LCD to the circuit board or the motherboard. Now this thing will come right off. Right? In some cases it will be larger or smaller. Now what you want to do is get a blunt object like this here. Something like this. And what you want to do is you want to find the contacts. That's the The part that actually contacts with the motherboard now you have to look very carefully and now what you want to do is to actually get the blunt object here and basically rub off the contacts you can hear me basically lightly scratching them now by lightly scratching them what you're doing is that you're removing the corrosion that exists on these contacts and it's actually a lack of contact that's actually preventing the tablet from working so you just basically want to re-expose them by scratching off any corrosion that you have on them yours might be larger or it can be small like mine and by carefully doing this what you have done is to basically remove the corrosion right once you have cleaned that off the contact points what you're going to actually do is you're going to slip this back in you see here to this end and then once you slip it back in you're gonna slide the straps or the retention straps back down right you said in your case it makes it impossible to miss the lcd um, connector it should be easy to find and then you're gonna reconnect the battery to the motherboard and of course you're gonna put the back on and you're gonna snap this back together and by doing this now 
the device should power up on the widescreen issue should be fixed now as I said I'm just demonstrating this and how this fix is done this can happen on um, any tablet this is a fix that has worked multiple times you can use it on almost any device once you can find the LCD this um, LCD connector all right guys this has been another um, quick tutorial basically showing you how to fix the widescreen issue or display based issues where your display is showing white or not connecting any at all. Alright guys, this is Ricardo Garden. Please remember to like if you if you found this useful and fix your issue. And also please remember to leave a comment or so down below. Just still know this worked out for you. And as usual, um, stay stay safe until our next video or just check out another video. Alright, thank you guys and bye.